today's picks. Let's move on to the NFC North. Starting off with, what did we call them last year? The Brews Brothers? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what yeah. it was? Yeah. The Chicago Bears, 12-4 and four last year, to win the division championship this year, plus 200 in Vegas. Their strength of schedule, the number five most difficult in the league, projected. Uh, turnover margin, number three last year. They were plus 12. Pretty good. Head coach, Matt Nagy. Uh, offensive coordinator, Mark Helfrich. I didn't even remember this. Did you remember this? Uh, yeah. Former, or, uh, former Oregon coach. Oregon coach, yep. Uh, defensive coordinator this year. Now, they lose Vic. Vic. Oh, that's so big, too. But they hire in Chuck Pagano, former Indianapolis head coach. They are projected favorite in 11 games. They're over-under, 9.5, plus 125 to go over 9.5, minus 140 to go under. Total yards per play on offense, they were number 20 last year. Only averaged 5.4 yards per play. Uh, that's still about average in the league. Yards per play on defense. Now, the Ravens were number one. The Bears are right there with them. Number two, gave up 4.8 yards per play. They signed wide receiver Cordero Patterson, uh, which the only team that's really been able to figure out what to do with him was the Patriots. Uh, but they drafted running back David Montgomery, who looks to take over as starter this year from Iowa State. And they drafted wide receiver Riley Ridley uh, to give him another outside weapon from Georgia. Uh, they signed free safety HaHa Clinton Dix to help shore up a little spot on the defense. He's expected to start as well. I think that this schedule is insanely difficult. Yes, they're favored in, or they're projected to be favored in 11 games. I've got them at nine and seven this year. I think they take a step back. I'm not a big believer in Mitch Trubisky yet. He didn't show me much last year. Like I like the fact that he didn't turn the ball over a lot, uh, and they did bring in some weapons for him. But I just, they, I don't know. No Jordan Howard. No, they, they have to lean on a rookie running back. No, they don't because they still got Tariq Cohen. Tariq Cohen was better than Howard anyway. So Tariq Cohen was the starter last year. You put Montgomery in there. He's better. He's an upgrade do, than do Howard. Do they still have Cohen? Yeah, they still got Cohen. Are you sure? Yes. Put me up with the Bears, man. I like this team. I got them 10 and 6. I like this team a lot. I fought with, with them winning this division. Um, I think they're going to be better on offense. I think they're going to be better on defense. I think this is probably the best linebacking core in the NFL. You know what? You're right. And I, They got Cohen. I'm scared okay. of losing Vic Fangio <laughs> because I know how, how valuable he is. Yes. And I don't know that you could just put another dude back there. I will say that they got a ton of talent on defense. God, and it is insanely talented. The dudes maybe, on the field... Yeah, maybe the most talented defense in the league. This is the most talented defense in the league. I don't know know if there's any question on that. I think this is the best defense. I don't know. I mean, I think the Ravens are really good. I think uh, even even the Jets are are up They're not close to this good. They're just not. They're they're just not. This team is is incredible defensively and offensively. I think they're going to get better. Are they going to be a Kansas City, a a Rams, a Saints offense? No. I don't think Trubisky's ever going to be that. Don't turn the ball over. He's a good mobile quarterback, so he – they're, he's going to help the running backs rush the ball because you, you can't just load the box up. Um, Anthony Miller, our guy from Memphis, oh, yeah. I think he's going to – now he's hurt right now, but I, I think he'll be fine by, team, by the time the, uh, the season starts. He's going to compete. He's going to push Allen Robinson as the best receiver on this team. Oh, yes. If you got two outside weapons that are that tall, that athletic, that kind of speed, with the running backs, you got a dual threat in running back, got a good tight end – I think this offense is going to be better. I think they're going to just progressively get better. Yeah, I mean, Matt Matt Nagy and, and Mark Helfrich, yeah. good tandem together. Oh, I mean, yeah. Nagy, remember, was Andy Reid. Like, it, that was one well, of his guys. But but we don't, he, he, he actually has proven to be a capable head coach and play yes. caller. A lot of guys have left Andy Reid trying to get the next Andy Reid, and they didn't work out. Yeah. Nat, Nagy, and this is not to say that he's going to be the next Andy Reid. And you and I... Both but, kind of agree on on Trubisky. He's doing a lot with a little yeah. in, in our eyes. Now, now Mitchell could could surprise and, and break out. They win this division. I think that defense is going to carry him. I think the rule is is don't turn the ball over. Don't be crazy. Let the defense keep us in games. Let's make field goals. Let's that, win see, games. That's, that's the thing, right? It's so long as you've got a defense like this, 
your number one rule as a quarterback is don't turn the ball over. Well, just don't make mistakes. That's it. Yeah, keep us right? in the game. Yeah, don't don't lose the game for us because defense is going to keep us close. What, what do they call that in college? A game manager. That's right. And that's look, you can make a lot of money being a game manager. Like it's Tom Brady in those early years was a game manager. He won suit. Now he had to drive down the field to get him in field goal position. Yeah. But he won three Super Bowls off three but, kicks. But you know how he did that? Like he didn't turn the ball over. He so, didn't make mistakes. Yeah. He made short, they, easy throws that were safe. Yes. He didn't try to go down the field and say I'm gonna win it on one play. Yeah. Oh, I turned the ball over. Yeah. Damn, Just don't make mistakes. Now we lose. So projected favorite in eleven games. I've got them nine and seven. You got them what? I got them ten and six. We're we're one game different there. Yeah. That's and, and see right there the number is nine and, and a half. And that and that is my still some hesitation with Mitchell. And my love for one other team in this division.